Casa Pedro, where luxury living meets the undeniable abundance of its own kind. This home not only elevates above expectations, but also grounds and connects with the nature. Effortlessly comforting, this home takes you on a journey through elegance of its divine art, leaving you with a feeling of an impeccable serenity. My name is Victoria and welcome to the sunny Costa del Sol and the famous Marbella and to be precise El Paraiso Baronao, an oasis of tranquility located between Marbella and Estepona and today we're going to be touring a very special house designed by David Fernandez Gil. But before we get started with the tour I would like to mention some specs. This house consists of five bedrooms, four bathrooms and is located on a plot of 1538 square meters with an internal build of 537 square meters. I'm super excited about the tour of today, so let's go and get started from the exterior of the house. And welcome to the front porch of Casa Piedro. As you can see from here, this house from the outside has a very typical Spanish look of the facade of the house. But before we go inside, let's quickly talk about this outside area. The first thing we have here is this gazebo, which is a home to one car and a one bike at the moment, as well as a garage. This is a dead end road. And we are located just 100 meters away from a beautiful beach of Marbella, which you're going to see in the drone shots. Super quiet, there's not many people there. So if you like a little bit of a peaceful life, this area is certainly for you. That's why many people call El Paraiso Baronao an oasis and a tranquil place between Marbella and Estepona. Now, as you can see, I am standing in the porch and the main entrance is right over here, behind which hides the whole beauty of this brand new house. Let's go and get started. And entering through the main door, the first thing I would like to mention is that this door actually, with all the four locks that it has, as you can hear, it automatically locks and you can also control it from your phone. So being far away, you can lock and unlock this door. Now we find ourselves in the main hall, the entrance of the house, where the whole beauty begins. The first amazing and outstanding piece of art we have here is the spiral curved staircase going up, made of micro cement, just like the whole floor. So it kind of seamlessly transitions from this micro cement floor into this beautiful curved staircase that's going up. From this side, you can see how it's floating over these pieces of art over here, giving this corner a complete picture vision. Right opposite of the staircase, we have a full security system which runs throughout the whole of the house. And here also a nice little place to put your keys. And now here we are stepping into the living dining area. Here you can notice, you can start to notice the neutral and soft color palette we've got throughout the whole house and especially in the living room. Here on the floor you can see this beautiful carpet which has been brought from Marrakesh. I mean, just look at the size of this carpet. It pretty much covers the whole floor of this living room. A beautiful sofa, a natural beige color really blending in nicely with the carpet from Flex Form. So super comfortable. Now here is something that I would really like to show you, which is the stereo from 1976. And you can press this one start button. Check this out. Some real retros. From the Bank Olufsen speakers. Not only here, but also on the side, you can see that we have the Bank Olufsen speakers throughout the whole of the house. And from here, we are connected to the outside area with this large floor to ceiling windows, bringing it a lot of luminosity into this house. But before we go to the terrace, let's step further down and check out this dining area. 
an amazing lamp from Floss. Look how high and how tall this lamp is, hanging right above in the center of this round table. Super designer black and yellow chairs. Here behind this table, you can see the continuity of the artwork made by a Belgian artist, which you could also see in the front hall of the house. Now, two steps separating the living and the dining space with the kitchen. Here, the architects wanted to make a transition between the micro cement flooring into the limestone, which we have in the kitchen and the outside area. It's quite an unusual, but I personally like it a lot. Here, in the middle, we have this huge island. I mean, look at this space. It pretty much covers the whole of the kitchen, so you will definitely not complain for the amount of storage. Right, let's start from this wall over here. As you can see, the whole wall is beige and with these dark meal appliances, really nicely contrasting. First of all, we have the oven. The second, we have the steamer. And right next to it, check this out, Ta-da! A wine cooler and a wine storage for all your best wines with this beautiful soft clothes. Over here we have a two-door fridge. Voila! Again, really large and spacious, perfect for a big family. On the other side, please, Tima, come over here. Let's show everybody the amount of storage we have over here. And in the upper shelf over here, you can see that the spaces have already been designed especially for this shelf. Bang, soft clothes, beautiful. Also, another idea of the architect was to emphasize the natural color palette we've got throughout the whole of the house by putting this walnut wood, as you can see throughout the whole of the kitchen and also on the banquette right under the window. Now we have the beautiful contrast, so I think this walnut wood really goes with the rest of the style of the kitchen. Now, on the opposite side, we have this new meal induction hob. And why new? Well, in fact, I would like to show you. Let's take one pot, put it anywhere, say stop. Stop. Okay. Yeah. One click of a button. And check this out, here you can regulate and the heat will only go under this pot. For me, really cool, I've never seen anything like this, uh, but you can basically place as many as you want of the pans and pots and turn them all, all at the same time. All right, and under this new induction hob, we have a double oven. So again, a really great thing if you have a big family. And right above, we have the extractor really nicely and seamlessly hidden. Now, the countertop here is made of Neolix Himalayan. This is a very unique and new material, which in Europe is actually being used more and more. And it is actually really well known for its durability and resistance to scratches. It's like anti-stains and anti-everything. And I actually think it also looks good. Now, here on the right side of the kitchen, we have two doors. One leads us to the washing room with the washing machine and the dryer. I'm gonna include the B-roll shot because all our things are here, but it's a very spacious and useful room. Right over here, next to that, we have a door which leads us to the garage space, which we saw from the outside of the house. As you can see, easily fits one car, and as well, you have plenty of storage for all other things that you might wanna store in the garage. Closing that up, let's head down over here. Here we have this banquet which wraps around this wall over here into a very nice L-shaped corner. Another dining table. And right above me, guess what's that? So that's real ivory. Ivory is basically a white material made of tusks and teeth of animals. And when the wind starts to blow, they give this relaxing sound. Now, from here, we are going to be stepping into the outside area. And the first thing we find ourselves is in this dining outdoor area, again, round table. I think the roundness of the table gives the unity to the family, everybody's equal. I love this kind of a style. So from here, another little chilling place. Over here. 
to stretch your legs and enjoy the sunset. And right off the space is the main chilling area and the main outdoor entertainment zone. And I think this is super stylish. Again, we have a carpet from Morocco and this beautiful bench in the middle and a super comfortable sofa. I think today I'm blending pretty well with the yellow pillow. I love this area. Here we get the sun in the evening. The sunset will be setting right in front of us behind the mountain. So we are going to be seeing some pretty nice sunset from here. And over here, right of the space, we have another zone, which has two chairs with a nice little table in the middle, and of course, a gazebo, which you can open up. What I also really like about this outdoor terrace is how you can see that the limestone curves into different shapes, not being a straight line. I think it's super original. We have the same thing to be noticed in this outdoor space, where we have the two sun beds and an umbrella and a beautiful outdoor shower, which I would like to show you guys. So this shower not only combines the art and design, but also nature. Look, we've got this tree right above me from where we can see the blue sky, but at the same time, we are super private and connected with the nature. I really love the design of the shower. Right off the shower, again, a beautifully manicured garden, this little area with the limestone, so basically this house is all about entertainment. Right after chilling in this area, you could make your way down to the Pentaka, which is right over here, and play some ball games with your friends. Or you could make a deep dive into the swimming pool, which is 14 meters long and four and a half meters wide. And of course, in the swimming pool, we have sun all day because this house is southwest facing. Super long, so you can have a proper swim. And after you swim to the end, you could chill in this amazing chilling zone, which is designed for extra space because you can fit a lot of people in here. So if you want to throw a party, definitely a lot of space. So basically in this outdoor area, we have a lot of nature at the same time connecting us with all this art, which we have throughout the whole of the terrace and the inside. Now, Follow me to see the last thing in this floor, which is the office. And floor to ceiling, paneling wall, seamlessly hidden doors, nice LED light strip on the top. And voila, we find ourselves in the office of the house. This space could also be used as a bedroom, but at the moment, as you can see, it's made into a very nice and serious office. I actually like it a lot. Here we also have the access to the outside area. And on the other side, we have another window which brings even more illuminosity into this space and leads us to the outside space, to the garage. Let's see if we have any more doors through this wall that are hidden. And yes, we do have one toilet, a little toilet, hidden door. Here we have a nice powder room, as you can see right opposite. A nice sink, a beautiful round oval mirror and in general a stylish design. Now let's use the beautiful staircase that will take us up to the second floor with all the bedrooms. Let's go. And now we are stepping into the second floor of the house where we've got all the bedrooms. This is a real cow. What's really special about the bedrooms in this house is that basically all of them are pretty decent size, starting from 23 square meters to the largest one of 33 square meters. I mean, that's a pretty decent size. As you can see, we are in the first bedroom, super bright, plenty of light, spacious, and connecting us to the terrace, which wraps around the whole of the upper floor with the views of the mountains and the sunset. Right opposite of this bed with this beautiful featured hats on top, we are connected into the large in suite bathroom. All showers in this house have been finished with the micro cement as the rest of the flooring to achieve the continuous flow and the expansion of the space. Here we have the rain head over me and a nice LED light strip and right opposite, really large cabinetry with the floating vanity over here and a mirror which runs throughout the whole length of the wall. And following through, here we are in the large walk-in wardrobe. I really like how this wardrobe is designed. First of all, here we have this nice little area. You have also a mirror right in front over here. 
which gives the whole view of the walk-in wardrobe and super bright because we also have windows right behind. And here, let's step into the second bedroom of the ensuite bathroom. On my left over here, again, the walk-in shower and the large bed in the middle, storage going throughout the whole of this wall, being connected to the front terrace. This time we have direct view to the swimming pool and to the garden area. And from here, let's step to the third bedroom. And here is the third bedroom. Again, we have this nice pocketing floor to ceiling windows as well as these which cover you from the mosquitoes. Be aware, there's plenty of them so you will need these. The third bedroom, nice and blue design, large bed in the middle, storage on this wall and a general, again, soft color palette and a very, very bright, I like it. Another beautiful and sweet bathroom over here, the same design as in the rest of the bedrooms. Let's step around the corner over here where we've got this little beautiful corridor. I really like how the arches curve over here, giving us the entrance to the staircase going down. Really, it looks beautiful from this view. And the third room of this floor and the master bedroom. Look at this beautiful arch when we enter into the bedroom. This room is 32 square meters, just the inside. Look at the size of it. And right opposite of the bed, we have the makeup area, which I think is super stylish with this round mirror, with the walnut touch, and in front of it, the huge TV. Stepping over here, again, we have the access to the terrace, the key line windows, super decent. Voila. Look at the size of the stairs. Now, what do you say about this walk-in wardrobe with all the storage in both sides? The materials that have been used here is raffia and the wardrobes and the handles are from Leomi. Quality is in the name of that brand. And here is the ensuite bathroom, a beautiful bath right in the middle, the walk-in shower with the rain head, super spacious and bright. We have the window leading us to the side of the house, a nice cabinetry. Again, here we have the walnut wood and the mirror running the length of the hall of this wall over here. Here you can also control the temperature. Those little Arizona controllers are in all the rooms, but also in the bathrooms. So you can adjust the heat whilst you're in the bathroom. Now let's step around the corner where we have the last bedroom and voila, again we have a beautiful beige carpet here. A nice double bed in the middle. Here for a change we have a little balcony which leads us to the front of the house. A really nice flow of the wind we have over here just because the sea is literally 100 meters away this way. So once you open up these windows, you get a really nice breeze. Look at all this storage space. All this wall is storage and it's so soft. Beautiful. And here we are in the end suite of the last bedroom. As you can see, another spacious size. Plenty of light going through these two windows. Walk and shower and a rain head. Very nice, bright and stylish. And that brings us to the end of the bedrooms in this floor. Now let's go downstairs and sum up the tour. In the rays of the setting sun of the Marbella sky, we are finishing up the tour for today. It was a pleasure touring this house and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about this tour in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment below. And I'll be seeing you very shortly in the next upcoming houses. Take care guys.